So it's me, your little boy, Kiss Samson. I have something special, unique for us today. You know, don't worry about people whom God removed from your life. You know, this is the main reason why you should not bother anything. You should not be like, ah, God, why do you do this? God, this is my prayer point. This is the first thing. This is this. This is that. Because my testimony I will share today. I'm not going to hide it from you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't bother yourself when God removes some people from your life. Don't stress yourself. Don't piss your. Don't piss off. Don't be frustrated. Don't argue with God. Don't try to bring them back because you are not. You can maybe you are not able to saw what God saw. You are not able to figure out what God figured out. You are not able to capture that thing that God capture ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? So that is why you should not bother when God allows some people or God draw people out of your life. He removed them totally from your life. This is the main particular reason you should not be bothered. You should not be, be annoyed because he saw what you could not saw. <laughs> you are why? Because listen, let me tell you my story before I start off with the main video. Listen, when I was in my former place, there was someone that I do used to do live with and all those stuff. So in, in, in my dream, after many years of my what my suffering in that place, you know, backward then, nothing is working, everything stranded, devastated, annoyed within myself, angry within myself, pissed off. It looked like I am I I, I become so tired. I was in a dream when the Lord revealed to me. This one I can't forget it, even even if I'm dying. I was in my dream when the Lord revealed it to me that something if you keep staying here, you will never achieve nothing in your entire life. I was not able to saw it in the first place. I was not able to capture it, I capture nothing. I was just like, oh, what is happening? So the moment I leave that particular house, ah God. Yahweh, Yahweh, Baba, Yahweh, my God, you are so good, Baba, Yahweh, Jehovah, you are so good. So let me tell you, the reason why I sing this song is because I was angry within myself. Why is it that everywhere I go, it looks like betrayed? But the moment I leave that particular spot, the moment I leave that place, things began to happen. Life started to change overnight. Everything started to change. I was shocked within myself <laughs> that things that I was not able to handle, you know, courage started to pump out. Help us. <laughs> yeah, God. That's why I always tell you, don't just stress yourself over some certain things God removed. Don't just stress yourself over some garbages. Look at this road now. This, this place is supposed to be cleared. This place is supposed to be cleared because there are some garbages around. So maybe from next month now, if the rain stops, they will bring us some bulldozers, some caterpillars to come and remove everything. You know what I'm saying? As they do used to do. So you got to understand that the whole place will be removed. And there will not be all this shadow. And sometimes many of us will be complaining. Ah, there is no place to take what a break. There is no place to hang around again. But the truth is that when this place is being cleared, the light will shine brighter. So what am I trying to say is that you are not able to saw what the Lord saw. You are not able to figure out what he figured out. You are not able to capture those things that he captured. So that is why when some people live your life, instead of you to be, to be like, ah, trying to make a move to bring them back, just slow down, hold yourself, be courageous, don't force nothing to come back. Don't argue with them. Don't try to debate. Don't try to be angry or don't do anything else. Just celebrate that moment because you are not able to see or you are not able to figure out. You are not able to capture the main purpose why God allowed them to leave you. 
maybe you are not able to figure out the main reason why they are there because some people are just around you to go you down completely some people are just around you to to limit you completely so when the lord removes some people from your life don't just feel like ah that is the worst moment of my life <laughs> you know when the lord showed me this in my dream that was last four years back i was just like what is going on why am i in this particular place at that moment why am i ought to be in this place so when god removes some people from your life you need to understand there is a reason why there is a purpose so god will not allow good people to go away from you god will allow those ones who were good before and suddenly become evil and what and and bad with influence he will remove them from your life so that good things will start to happen because the moment you start to mingle with the wrong people the only thing you will be encountering always is wrong thing so in order for you to achieve the right thing you need to be what to hang around with the with what with the wrong with the good what with the good people you need to mingle and hang around with those people who will motivate you so that is why when god cut some people out from your life don't try to bring them back because he know what you are not able to know he knew what you are not able to knew he figured out those things that you are not able to figure out he understand those things that you are not able to understand he know the deeper reason so that's why you should not argue <laughs> you know what i'm saying so remain blessed